So from the last video, uh, in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the price for trade, for the example, in the last video. So between opportunity costs, one clothing equals three food for country X and one clothing for five food for country Y. Between these two ranges, uh, if there is uh, some some number between that's in between these two ranges, such as one clothing equals four F, then both countries are happy because both will gain. And that is totally confusing, I know. And my professor just decided to use food for currency or something. I don't know, but uh, yeah, it took me a while to figure out what the heck he was talking about as well. So just I'm just I'm just gonna give you a quick rundown by uh, making some manipulations. So let's consider that one clothing uh, costs three dollars. Let's just change all the food to dollars. So let's just say that uh, one clothing costs three dollars. And one clothing for this is X. One clothing for Y costs five dollars. Okay, so so then uh, so then this is the range between three dollars and five dollars. So then uh, if you trade for uh, for a clothing that's worth some something like four dollars, then the country will do it because the idea is well the the idea is X is making this clothing for three dollars. Right, so that's their cost. It costs them three dollars. If they sell it at four dollars, then they make a profit. And for why, for why, the the lowest cost that they can make this clothing is five dollars. So they're getting at so so they're actually cutting their costs by taking uh, by trading with country X and buying their buying their clothing for four dollars that country X is. Uh, making but at three dollars so that's the kind of idea that I want to ingrain into you guys and I know that uh, what we started out with with uh, using food as currency <sighs> who uses food as currency I don't even know how my professor got a PhD so yeah so that's the idea I want to ingrain into you guys so uh, after this we're gonna talk about total production so total production uh, so the main point that I want to talk in total production is after specialization. So after specialization, what are we talking about here? So pretty much what I'm talking about is that countrywide just fully produces, uh, fully produces food because they have the comparative advantage in food. So they create, ten, they make ten food, and for country X, they have the advantage in clothing. So they make all the clothing. So after specialization, uh, country Y will make ten food. I think it was why that had a comparative advantage. Yeah, why specialize in food? So they make ten food, and uh, and X will make the clothing. X makes four clothing, so X makes four clothing. Now suppose suppose that this happens. Suppose suppose we want total production. Total production, which I'll abbreviate as prod total production of food to be 13 so we want to actually have uh, 13 food between the two countries so how do we do this well how we're gonna do this is let's just have Y make all the food so Y makes the first 10 makes first 10 food then the other three food X will make up for the remaining X makes up for remaining remaining uh, three food so a total of three food is a, a total of three food is what we have to make after Y makes their food a total of three food but we also know that for for X the opportunity cost of making one more unit of food is 1.3 uh, pieces of clothing so we just take that Three food, and we times it by the opportunity cost. One over three, uh, one one clothing over three food. So this is the opportunity cost of making uh, of making making uh, one uh, uh, of making three food. Yeah, of making three food to make one more unit of food. We need to give up that much clothing. So if we do some uh, canceling, then a total of one clothing is uh, will have to be foregone so now now by giving up one clothing we now have three food for X so that in total is 13 food now total production total production 
total production is 13 food and uh, and th three clothing. Four minus one equals three clothing. Because remember that X had to give up uh, making four pieces of clothing. So they have to give up uh, one piece of clothing to make three food. That is why we have four minus one to get three pieces of clothing for the total production. And that's what I want to talk about for today. And I hope that I got the point through. Uh, otherwise, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.